Hi, my name is Ron Filipkowski, and I'm an attorney from Sarasota, Florida. And I am a lifelong conservative Republican. I named my first son Ronald Reagan Filipkowski. I voted for uh, B1 Bob Dornan, uh, Congressman Bob Dornan, in my first presidential Republican primary I voted in in 1988. I voted for Patrick Buchanan in 1992. In every primary, I typically vote for the most conservative candidate. And there is no way that I am going to vote for Donald Trump for president in 2020. I'm a former U.S. Marine. I'm a former federal prosecutor, state prosecutor, uh, police academy instructor. Um, I was president of one of the largest Republican clubs in the country. And if you'd have told me uh, when I was voting for Bob Dornan back in 1988 and Joe Biden was running in the Democratic primary at that, year, that same year, that 32 years later, I was going to be voting for Joe Biden for president. I would have said you were crazy. I'll probably never vote for a Democrat again after this election, but this time I feel like I have to. Donald Trump is the Elmer Gantry of the Republican Party. He has unfortunately misled a lot of people uh, into believing that he is a conservative when he is not. He has betrayed every principle of the conservative movement that I believe in and many conservatives believe in. But unfortunately, too many elected Republicans, because of how vicious he is in retaliating against anybody who criticizes him, are afraid to speak out. So what has to happen is ordinary Americans like me and others have to do it for them since they're, they simply will not. Um, Trump is a tough talker. He talks a big game, but never in his life has he ever demonstrated a single act of physical courage. When it came time for him to serve in the Vietnam War, he got five deferments from the draft. Four student deferments. However, when his student deferments ran out, suddenly he developed bone spurs, which miraculously cleared up as soon as the last helicopter left the American embassy roof in Saigon in 1975. His bone spurs mysteriously were cured. He treats and ex exploits women extremely poorly. He's had over 25 different women make allegations of sexual misconduct against him. He's bragged, he's settled uh, suits uh, not, and signed non-disclosure agreements with porn stars that he's had relationships with during each of his three marriages. Um, he has bragged on tape that he is able to molest women and get away with it because he's famous. These are not the kinds of things that we as conservatives stand for. He uses the Holy Bible as a political prop when what he should do is actually crack it open and read it once in a while. He stands in front of churches for photo ops when what he should do is actually go in and pray a little bit. Um, he, is, he has done so much long-term damage to the Republican Party. It's going to take years to repair it. And the only way we're going to do it is to start now and get him out of office. I've, as I said, I've never voted for a Democrat in my life in any election, even local elections. The only way we're going to save the soul of the Republican Party and make America great again is to get Donald Trump out of office.